Hey guys, welcome back, check what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back guys. I literally cannot talk for anything today. Uh, today's video we have another mod for the Cayman S. I am literally just trying to bang out a lot of videos um, for the Cayman S for you guys to actually search it up. I want these videos to be searchable so if they're kind of shorter and they're just dedicated to one mod, um, the only reason for that is because I want you guys to be able to search it up if you guys are looking for Cayman S mods um, and upgrades. I want this all to be searchable. I'm being as transparent as possible. So uh, that being said, uh, for the Cayman S this was a rebuild for those of you guys who are new to the channel and uh, the front end needed some work the airbags are deployed we upgraded some stuff in the interior uh we actually retrofitted a chrono gauge from the same exact company that we actually got this steering wheel from um so i'll have their company link down below um they make a bunch of uh porsche mods and porsche upgrades and retrofits and all that good stuff so for those of you guys who just got a cayman and want to do a bunch of retrofits make sure to check them out down below um but anywho, yeah so this is the new upgrade they end up getting the stock steering wheel that comes in these cars and the stock airbag horrendous the airbag was already blown so i either had to buy another airbag bag or just upgrade everything that's what we did <laughs> that being said i also had to get a new clock spring uh that's not part of this video you don't need a new clock spring i had to get a new clock spring because uh, i guess in the accident somebody's knee just shattered this right off um and you couldn't just buy just this you had to get the whole thing sent me back 300 dollars. but it is what it is now that we got it um this is the upgrade Ooh, ta -da! Dang, that looks insane <laughs> That looks absolutely stunning. And also what I love about this, my car never came with buttons. So if you guys check this out, uh, these, this is like a billet metal right here, which looks super sick. And also these paddles too, which also look really, really, really nice. And then we just obviously got Alcantara, yellow stripe. I'm trying to go with the yellow theme interior. I'm gonna be doing a GT4 door cards. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm doing a whole GT4 interior conversion. We did a yellow chrono gauge retrofit. It's gonna be this beautiful yellow steering wheel. Um, and I also got this airbag as well, uh, redone Alcantara. Thing looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't even wanna take that off. That looks fantastic. So I don't even know what this is, but oh, that's separate. That's a different mod. That's a different mod. I'll show you guys Ooh, that later. thank uh, you. <laughs> Forgetting about all this stuff. Uh, but anywho, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this clock spring in so we can get this brand new wheel installed. I'm super excited. Oh, by the way, yeah, I forgot to say that. Uh, so I, my car didn't have buttons, so that's why this one doesn't have buttons, which makes this install so much easier. So like I said earlier, guys, uh, just gonna go ahead and install the clock spring first. Nothing too crazy. If anybody has ever took apart a Cayman S dashboard, even a Porsche dashboard, it's not that bad if you've done BMWs before. But, uh, if you've never done it before, it's uh, still some work. Installing the brand new clock spring. How was life, Johnny? Life's good, man. How was the kids? Great, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Taking the steering wheel over to Noor. And he's not even over there. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, looking kind of saucy in the seat right there. So guys, because my car is, uh, it has no wiring, this should be pretty easy. Yeah, I feel like it will be. I'm just hoping the paddles will work, you know what I mean? Like immediately. Your other steering wheel had paddles right had paddles yeah so i'm hoping that this is wired the same i think it should be should be so if it is mm -hmm. then theoretically we just put this thing in play. oh but what's annoying it can go anywhere is it really it's not like bmw no so rookie mistake because i already had the steering wheel off when i took off the dashboard on bmws there's already kind of a mark on here that tells you where you need to line up with your steering wheel on this car there isn't so make sure you mark it before you move your steering wheel because i think i have to go now get an alignment and then i have to kind of keep playing with my steering wheel and figure that out so that's fun that's crazy i don't know why they didn't do it like that's that. so annoying but uh any i guess you're saying the steering wheel straight right so it's as straight as it's gonna get okay now that we got the steering wheel installed to the best of our ability I'm gonna go ahead and connect the top portion there's a connector down here that's unplugged I'm not sure what this is for. All right, guys, so I'm talking to the owner of Porsche Master because I'm just like, this is such easy stuff, but I'm overthinking it. Um, so first things first, for the steering wheel, if you have no buttons, you just plug in the steering wheel and that's it. You plug in the airbag and that's it. I found this little wire down here and apparently that's for the multifunction things on the steering wheel, which I don't have, so I don't have to deal with that. So I don't know why I keep overthinking things. I keep chatting with him, probably bothering him. Shout out to him, he's a cool guy. Uh, just helped me sort all this stuff out. Uh, but anything, the, the, the other note is just make sure you mark the steering wheel and you're good to go. I don't know why, I, this, this video, I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not trying to drag it out. I'm just, I'm literally, 
people will be like, well, you just trying to drag this out to 10 minutes. I, I swear, <laughs> that's not the goal. I'm literally just, I don't want to click everything in and then have to mess with my brand new steering wheel to pull things out, you know? Yeah. Like, all right, oh yeah, I'm gonna choose it. <laughs> All right, what's on there? Ooh. You want to you see this part? This is this is very important. Bro, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everything so hard for me? <laughs> You're struggling out here, bro. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Looks so satisfying, bro. The what Porsche the logo. Do be slapping, though. <laughs> First Porsche in the family, by the way, guys. So, oh, this looks insane, dude. All right, now we gotta plug in the battery and hope to God I didn't, this airbag doesn't blow out. <laughs> Hopefully the paddles work too. Oh. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. TCM last possible drive, whatever. Ready? Pretty good. Now we gotta put it in drive. Shifting? No. Well, the steering wheel was successfully installed. Ooh. All these other faults have nothing to do with the steering wheel. This is honestly my, my, my total Porsche that I'm still trying to figure out. That's a lot of faults. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, when I put it in drive, um, before I even took the steering wheel out, move gear level to position P. Maybe this has something to do with the clock spring, actually. I think it has something to do with the clock spring. Did I just replace the clock spring? I didn't code it in. Well, we'll figure this out. But uh, anyways, steering wheel is in. Looks fantastic. Yellow stripe, yellow stitching, yellow gauge, chrono gauge. This is all from Porsche Master. So if you guys need some Porsche upgrades, check them out. <laughs>